Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Long. The 2019 season is coming to an end, but we still had a few drivers that saw action this weekend. So let's get started in Talladega, Alabama with Anthony Alfredo, who is making his Talladega Super Speedway debut in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series. Anthony qualified 16th and had a solid run all day, running as high as 4th. Everything was going to plan for the 15 team until on lap 81, the left rear tire got cut. The flat tire sent the 15 truck spinning around, but miraculously, Anthony was able to avoid any contact. The DGR team was able to get Anthony back on track. However, they went a lap down. They battled hard to get into position for the free pass, but came up just short, eventually finishing the race in 15th. Up next for Anthony, ISM Raceway in Phoenix, Arizona on November 8th. Sheldon Creed was also at Talladega, where he qualified fifth in his number two GMS Chevrolet and finished in ninth place. Sheldon's ninth place finish marks his sixth consecutive top 10 finish in his 10th top 10 finish of the season. Sheldon led twice for a total of 20 laps. He won stage one, earning him his third stage win of the 2019 season. Up next for Sheldon, the paperclip at Martinsville Speedway on October 26th. Jesse Love was back to the Midwest for two nights of racing in the Power Eye National Midget Series. On night one at Southern Illinois Speedway, Jesse started fifth and finished fifth in his heat race, moving him to the B main where he started on the pole but got turned upside down in turn one of the first lap. Jesse took a provisional for the A-Main where he started 23rd but raced his way to a 10th place finish. They call that hammer time. On Sunday, the series moved to historic Belle Claire Speedway just outside of St. Louis, Missouri, where Jesse won his heat race, transferring him directly into the A-Main where he started 8th and finished 14th. Up next for Jesse, SRL Southwest Tour Late Models at Kern County Raceway on October 26th. Brian Henderson had a busy weekend of racing. It started Friday in the SCCA runoffs at Virginia International Raceway in his spec Miata, where he qualified seventh and finished fourth. Then he was off to Road Atlanta on Saturday in his Atlanta Speedworks Friends of Jacqueline Honda for the IMSA Pilot Challenge Fox Factory 120. Brian qualified eighth and finished the race in fifth place. That fifth place finish secured a fifth place finish in the IMSA season championship. Congratulations, Brian. Newly crowned Madeira Speedway 5150 Junior Late Model Champion, Joey East was at All American Speedway in Roseville, California for the 50 lap Pro Late Model race on Saturday. Joey qualified fourth and was running second with 15 laps to go before running over a piece of debris that damaged his steering, ending his night. What an awesome night of racing for the young 16-year-old who had never set foot on that track before, but was competing for the win. Up next for Joey, Pro Late Models at Stockton Speedway this Saturday night. Drivers that didn't see action last week, but will be back in action this week include Joe Valento, who will be at Dell's Raceway Park for the final Midwest Truck Series race of the year on Saturday. Jake Bullman will be at Carteret County Speedway for the INEX Legend Car Asphalt Nationals on October 17th through 19th. Cassidy Hines, Justice Sokol, and Kobe Sokol will be back on the dirt at El Paso County Raceway for the Fall Brawl on Saturday. William Cox will be at Carteret County Speedway for the INEX Legend Car Asphalt Nationals on October 17th through 19th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up on raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring 14-year-old Sonomish Washington driver Haley Constance. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.